Hey guys and welcome to a new video on this channel. First of all, I'm really sorry for being inactive, but um, it's just because my school just started so I don't really have much time to do edits and videos and stuff, but I will try to post for you guys. And today we're gonna do a trying out cap cut hacks part 4. Today I got like four hacks for you that you can try for your edits, videos and stuff. And also I'm sorry for the audio quality, but I don't have a mic right now, so it may sound a little bad. But make sure to watch till the end of this video because I got many cool hacks for you guys. Okay, so first we're gonna add our text. I also changed the ratio, but you don't have to. You can write whatever you want and maybe change the style to a different font. But you can change the color of the text. And now we're gonna save it. Now add a new project and add those backgrounds we saw in the video. You can crop it here. Okay, I have mine here. It has like bad quality, so I'm gonna add sharpen to make it seem a little better. Okay, now once you have that, you're gonna add the text you just saved as an overlay. Zoom it in to fit the size. And also adjust the length if needed. Okay, now click on your overlay and go to cutout. Now click on chroma key and select the black color and make the intensity 100 and also shadow 100. And now we're done. If you want to make it longer, you can just copy the overlay and your video so you have more than just one second. Okay, now this is one I made up myself, which is called like a text ghost. So you're gonna add text and write whatever you want. Okay, now we're gonna save it and go back to the project. Now add the video you just saved as an overlay. Now zoom it in a little more than the original video and go to blend. And there you're gonna reduce the opacity to however you want. And now we're done. But if you want, you can move the overlay around to, you know, place it at the top, bottom or whatever. Or you can also add blur, so you just add the effect blur, go to object and then overlay, and then you can also adjust the blur, so it seems like a ghost behind the text. Here I place the overlay at the top, and here it's on the left side. Okay, now get your clip and click on it and now go to camera tracking. Click on camera tracking again and then on face. Now click on start. And once it's loaded, if you want, you can like adjust the keyframes, but if you don't, you can just click the check mark. Okay, now we're gonna zoom our clip in a little. And now we're done. Looks pretty cool, right? Okay, so I have my clip ready here, so now we're gonna go to overlay and then add overlay. Now to stock videos and add the black background. Zoom it all the way in, now we're gonna go to mask. 
there you're gonna click on triangle and now we're gonna click on this icon here to make the edges round you can adjust it the way you want and now we're gonna make it fit to our size just like i do here depends on what format you use and lastly click on invert and now we're done you can also adjust the edges if you want it to be more round or however you want that was it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it or if it helped you make sure to like and subscribe i'll see you in my next video bye